Hey, I'm Will. I'm the new DevOps. Wait, why am I wearing a red shirt? Because you're the new DevOps guy. But the guy in the red shirt always gets killed. <laughs> Check it out. They actually hired a smart one this time. <laughs> Hold up, so you mean to tell me you don't plan on changing your software development practices at all? You just hired me to watch me crash and burn? Welcome, FNG. Welcome. So I've seen this question popping up quite a bit recently, and a lot of the context is with people who are looking at going to either a university or a boot camp, and they're faced with this decision of, do I go the software engineering route or do I go with this new DevOps engineer route? And a lot of people have been asking, is DevOps even gonna be valid in two years or is it just gonna fade away into history like some 80s hair metal band? Hey, what's up? I'm Will Button from DevOps for Developers, where I teach you the DevOps skills you need to succeed. So whenever, whenever we look at that question, the first thing I want to say is you're just by asking the question, you are already on the right track and so far ahead of everyone else. There are a lot of people right now who are in jobs that are going away. Either the industry is not relevant anymore or their positions being automated into obsolescence and instead of addressing that through increasing their skills or learning new job skills they're fighting to keep that job that's just going to ultimately be a losing battle so by the fact that you're asking this question before you even get in that position tells me that you're already in this for the long haul. So let me cut right to the chase and answer your question. Is DevOps going to be relevant two years from now? And the answer is absolutely yes. Just there's no way it can't be. Because think about this. As long as there is an internet and web applications and we have developers trying to push code into production, there's a need for DevOps. The alternative is to go back to the way things used to be. And I can't imagine someone like Google or Netflix or Facebook saying, hey, you know what? Let's just go back to the way we used to do things. So instead of doing three deploys per day, let's just push code to production once every three months. It's not going to happen, right? Now, that's not to say that DevOps is going to be just like it is now 10 years from now. That most certainly isn't the case. It's going to change. It's going to evolve with technology. We're going to have new and better ways of doing things that allow us to get code from a developer's workstation into production faster, safer, more reliably. We're going to have better ways of identifying increased utilization of our applications and scale out to meet that demand and then scale back in once that demand subsides a little bit to better control our costs of running our application, all of those things are going to change. There will even be new technologies that don't exist now that we'll have to contend with. So if the question you're asking is, once I get my DevOps skills from wherever you're going to school or however you're learning them, even if it's self-taught, am I done? The answer is no. DevOps, just like software engineering, is a lifelong commitment to studying and skill development. So by going to school or taking on some personal projects or however you're choosing to get your DevOps skills, that's really only the starting point. You're going to continue doing that process throughout the rest of your career. But one thing I want to tell you is that it doesn't mean you have to learn every single technology or every single framework that ever comes out between now and the day you retire. Even if you wanted to, I don't think you could just because so much changes in the technology space every single day. So what you do is you look at the ones that are interesting to you or you think might be relevant to you and then you learn a little bit about them. 
And if it looks like something that's going to be useful to you, then you dig in deeper to it. But if it looks like something that's not either useful to your job or relevant to your skills or you just don't have a good feeling about it, then just ditch it and move on. If it turns out that you're wrong, you can always learn it when the time comes up. Right? And that's actually the way I approach things. I actually call it just-in-time learning where I don't really sweat that kind of stuff. Whenever something comes up and I need to implement a new solution, I'll go learn whatever it is I need to learn and then implement it. I don't have to be an expert at everything that could ever possibly come my way. I just can't do it and I'm not going to stress over trying to do it. We'll figure it out as we go and I think you can do the same thing. And as long as you're able to do your job successfully, you're a good coworker who's contributing to the team, your manager's happy, and your business is doing well, then you're staying on top of things. So will DevOps be relevant in two years? Absolutely. Will it be relevant in 10 years? Probably so. Will it be relevant longer than that? I'm pretty confident that it will. It's going to change, and we'll learn new skills along the way. But if this is something you're interested in, and your concern was whether or not this is just a fad, I can put those concerns at ease and tell you just go into it full force, have a great time, and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about what it's like to be a DevOps engineer and some of the tools and technologies you need to be familiar with. Thanks, and uh, I'll see you next time. Will DevOps be a valid career in two years, or is it just a fad? I sure as hell hope so. I got a 30-year mortgage riding on this bitch. <laughs>